Well, I, I don't want to waste any more time just blah, blah, blahing, because I do a lot of that. Uh, Justin aggressively flossed and then left the room, so, you know, I think that means that it's time for us to reveal the next GM. Uh-oh, what is this? I've already revealed who uh, the players chose on accident. Well, let's go ahead and see what the GMs were. Well, Iron GM Hot Dog Crimes, of course, we have seen this GM before. It is Zavane, the second GM that was chosen by one of the players. No fun allowed. Mike Uyama, not going to be our GM. So who could the third one who got chosen possibly be? Well, it is Iron GM Cursed Google Image Search. Please welcome on in our GM for the third match today. Hedge Maze. Hedge Maze! Let's talk about your game! I would love to have you. Winona, I love seeing you here. I'm really happy that you two are amazing. Uh, Hedge Maze, hello! <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so ready for something that you're given. Oh, yeah, this game is something. I don't so think I, I, I actually, actually know this one. Nobody does. So I actually, um, these players, I had both of them before for Xena Game Boy Color. Mm. And so I was thinking, what do I, what's, what's the logical step up from licensed to well-made Game Boy Color games? How about an unlicensed, badly made bootleg Game Boy Color game? Okay, so, you're speaking my language. This is my language of love. Yeah, we've, we've got. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking at some some interesting game uh, Game Boy Color games a while back, and I've been hanging on to this one. It's it's, it's uh, gotta hang on to the bootleg. So this is Monster Go 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 for Game Boy Color. <laughs> Pikachu's gonna go 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 into my heart, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Game Boy Color games. We uh, honest. Oh, there's so much in the Game Boy Color library that we haven't explored and that needs to show up sometime, and I'm so glad that we've got this. I don't know what kind of game this is. Is this a platformer? It's a platformer. I don't normally give out platformers because I usually don't think they're too interesting, but this one is extremely interesting, and uh, we'll see fine. why. Okay, I'm, I'm very interested in that. Now, uh, I'm working on getting these players captured, so... Tell me a little bit. How are you doing? What is going on in life? Anything exciting? I'm pretty good. I am home now from my bit my trip, trip. But Ooh. yeah, it's like yeah, but it's it's all right. You know, we're we're working toward our future together. So we're trying to like look into contractors and stuff, which is real exciting. Oh, fun. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, honestly, yeah. It's like how gay can we make our apartment? As it turns out, you can make apartments very gay. It is it is very doable. Yeah, I know. I was looking into like tiles for the bathroom. You can get like mermaids without any seashells on their mermaids bodies. With... Oh, so nude, <laughs> naked mermaids, nude and yeah, naked. Yeah, definitely gonna go for that. So everybody who enters our bathroom knows what the deal is. I do not hear any music. Is there any music on the like? wavy option uh, screen here no not yet okay uh well that's cool <laughs> this looks a little <laughs> scary yeah it's uh it's a special game so the dude dude was pretty mad about the wiggling option screen you know what that's not the bootlegs problem that's the original game's problem the original game is smurfs 3 aka the smurfs nightmare oh yeah yeah, from our for friends and infogrames. So a lot of the problems of this are just from infogrames. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, there. Are, so there's a few different versions of this hack, and I have got the worst, aka best one, of course. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh yeah, so yeah, people can spam their Pokemon related emotes, Merc related emotes, uh cutlery, kitchen items. What else is in this game? 
Rabbits. Rabbit. I yeah. Don't know. Spam everybody Just because we're cursed. doing the countdown. As soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. Okay, I told them they're forbidden from skipping through the intro because we need it. Oprah Sancho, do you like singing? Do you like Celine Dion songs? I've got a good song for you. Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you. You are here, so I very fear. But there is something you hate eat that will not go away. Far across the distance and spaces between us. You are my nightmare. What the crap is this? What the crap is this? Right, so I, I found, you know, I found a platform and I'm like, you know, sure, whatever. But then I see that intro and I'm like, oh yeah, we need this. We need this. Oh, Fat Pikachu this. is here. Wait, is the game started now? Yep, yeah, it started. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Game. The Sasper, <laughs> you are my nightmare. Just FYI. Uh, so as chat is saying we may need a flashing warning just heads yeah. up to people watching uh there will be some flashing coming up this is a hack of smurf's nightmare which honestly i thought about giving out for cusa grande i didn't think it was the most interesting game out there but perhaps yeah, it's 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 not the worst either. Like this, like actually, this match is not like the worst game of all time that it could have given out. But like, it's real janky and hilarious, and I wanted to watch this. Honestly, this bootleg like, may problems. technically be the best game that we have today. It might be, yeah, but it's 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 got some problems. He's so fat. I love him. I <laughs> want to take this Pikachu home, okay? And he's gonna be my friend. We're gonna go on adventures together, and then he's gonna get really tired because he's kind of fat, and that's okay. I'm fat too. I'll get tired with him. Be great. Yeah. So, yeah. So people are talking about the speed of this game. This runs at half speed of what it should be running at. So the music is very slow, and the movement is very slow, and it's great. <laughs> so, so this is actually a hack of. Smurfs 3, Smurfs Nightmare on Game Boy. They colorized it. And I think that, and also people are saying they made the sprite so big, those things apparently made the lag. So, yeah, because this came before the Game Boy Color version. People are asking about that. Uh -huh. This came before the Game Boy Color version. So there is a different hack of the Game Boy Color version, but I didn't give that out because it's exactly the same as Smurfs. Like, they only changed the Pikachu sprite. They didn't change the, they don't have the Meowth intro. They don't. Ha they didn't recolor the, any of the other levels. Okay. And this one's really cute. It's got lots of cute graphics. So we're using this one. Yeah, so what are they trying to do? Right now, they are amusing me by not finding the door to open. Uh, they just need to get the key and go in the first door on the screen, which they could have done. Like... So that door right there? Yeah, they just need to open that door. Oh. Well, how? They need to be pixel perfect in front of the lock. Winona tried this out last night, and this took her several minutes. <laughs> it's not hard, it's just, if you... It's just not obvious. I love also, it. You see, I love it. The signs, so the sign telling you the sarsaparilla leaves help you to jump higher. Well, you know what's not in this game? Sarsaparilla leaves. Oh no. Uh, there, there are lightning bolts in this version. Okay, and the dude dudes seeing that you, you need a hammer for something, the, the rabbit wants a carrot, the mole wants glasses. You're of gonna course, have to help these. Course. You're gonna have to help them out later, but like we don't have those items yet. Right oh, now, yeah, you just need sure. to take the key and go in the first door. Okay, the dude found out that door was locked. About this one, okay, the yeah. door is locked. I think the dude dude is gonna get in the building first. Yeah, as soon as you figure out that, okay, you need a rope for the well. Yeah, as soon as you figure out the lock positioning, you have figured this out. Mm-hmm. I 
I actually really prefer the slow down version of the music. It's it's real chill. It's okay. The dude dude figured out the door. Mm -hmm. We're three minutes and forty five seconds in. We're finally gonna start the game. Well, I mean, one of us, Moonberry, is just kind of stuck. That's a game over. What? What the freaking crap? This is not good. Okay, I think Moonberry has figured out the door, maybe? No? Okay, so I don't know why, but if you get hit by the bomb, like, immediately, you game over. Like, in your first attempt, because then you get six lives. Like, you see, now to do dude has five extra Pikachus. Like, now to do dude has six lives. I don't know. This just happens. I can't explain things about this game. Ah, uh, so now we're actually platforming. So yeah, you got six lives, you got five hearts of health. And on the right, you've got the lightning bar, which is supposed to be the sarsaparilla leaves. So if you collect enough lightning bolts to get to the first tick mark there, you can jump higher. You can double jump. And if you get it to the uh, the second bar, you can triple jump. Okay, which is very, is gonna figure this out precise. really quickly. Yeah. Moonberry also says, wow, I had a dream like this once. Let's watch you die. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it'll happen. Maybe not. Moonberry <laughs> me yeah. might be getting lucky. Heck yeah. Yeah, because also it's randomized. You don't always get the bomb. Like, you might get different things from those presents. <laughs> okay, didn't get hit. Didn't get hit. <laughs> Luck, Moonberry. Oh, Meowth just throwing pies. Oh, what a guy. You know, so the dude dude was also saying that he likes to speed run or like 100% every game he gets in Cusa Grande. So it's like, you know what I would like to see someone play for its entirety? This. I love you know, the it. Only, you know, the only video on YouTube of this is six minutes long and it's from 15 years ago. Really? Well, yep. you know, some girl in chat says that she played this when she was, like, four years old. Yeah, I think some people actually would have grown up with this because it was on those, like, bootleg carts of, like... This is 1998 or 1999, so that there wasn't any other Pokémon content besides, like, red-blue. Maybe <laughs> yellow at the time. Yeah. And so they just released this on those, like, Pokémon carts. New kids, like... Somebody said it was even advertised in, like, Nintendo 64 magazine or something. It's like, I, I don't know. By the way, is if all the gameplay the slower, comments. or is it just the music that's slower? Gameplay, gameplay, everything is half speed. Okay. Honestly, I, I haven't played much of the Smurfs game, but if that makes this a little bit more playable, I'm cool with that. I think it's less playable. Oh no. Because you have to do a lot of backtracking in this game. Yeah, especially and if you miss any of the sarsaparilla lightning bolts. You know what the problem with that is? You need those to make certain jumps. And yep. if you ha have already used them up, uh, tough, tough nuggies. You may Wait, end do, up in problems. Do they actually, uh, like, is there a button to use the leaves lightning bolt thingies? Well, they get used up when you do your double jumps and tri triple jumps, so... Oh, okay. If you need them at a certain point in the level, you might have problems. There are there are usually multiple ways to get around problems, but it's this game. Yeah. I don't know if the players know about double jumping quite yet. What information did you give them? I said it's a platformer. You don't need anything else from me. Good luck. <laughs> I love it. I also it. told them they were forbidden from skipping the intro. That's about all I told them. Yeah, uh, Moonberry certainly has not figured out the double jump yet, but... This sounds like pirate music. I like it. Yo, oh, actually, so, so to my disappointment, this version of the first level is actually way less cursed than the original game. So, I like, so. what I'm actually kind... So I'm actually kind of impressed with them that they... They didn't just like resprite Pikachu for this. They they re they changed all the sprites. So now we have like it's pretty generic. It's like a tropical like background here. 
but it's completely different from the original game. The original game is this is a kitchen. It's an oh, evil that's kitchen right. with like. It is. Yeah, it's, there's like a hot dog with a butt that walks around. There's like evil Smurfs that are gonna hurt you. Like th those are strawberries, the like dittos or executes or whatever those are supposed to be in this game. So, like this is actually less cursed than that, but it actually looks nice. Like for what it is, so yeah. I'm kind of impressed. I mean, like it's, this game I don't has tons know of problems. If they stole but, the yeah. sprites from somewhere. They probably did. Like, okay. The players need to learn how to how to do a double jump. How do you double jump in this? It's like precise. You have to be. At, I think you have to be at the height of your jump and then do it again. There's a specific placement you have to be to do it. Yeah. Like they did get the information about jumping higher, even though that was. Somewhat incorrect information. It said the sarsaparilla leaves, and there aren't any in this version of the game. Pikachu looks hideous when he is stuck in the bubble. I hate it. I think it's kind of cute, but yeah, this game is certainly what well, it is. Winona is saying jump again right as soon as you land on the ground. Oh, okay, right. Oh, there's a bubble to help Moonberry get across this place. That works, that works. So, you just... It's like Mario 64 double jump. Okay. Yeah. Also, I like that some of the sprites, they just didn't change at all. Like, that jar of preserves or something. That's just exactly from the Smurfs. Yeah, it's like... I mean, that's good also... enough. Yeah, and the Meow throwing pies, that's because it's from the kitchen level. Anything like that. But I do like the Meowth. I hope everyone likes Meowth. We're gonna have a lot of Meowth. Oh, yeah. I, I like it. I love it that the intro text is definitely from uh, <laughs> the song My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, the Titanic yeah, song. Why? Absolutely. Why? Well, it's classic. Oh, okay. I forgot to do a prediction. Did yeah. someone do one? Oh, someone else did one. Good. We, you did yeah, one. Yeah, I did. Good. Someone someone in chat yelled at me, so I did it. I figured you were doing commentary and you usually do the predictions, so uh, I just get it going. Thanks, because, yeah, I usually get sidetracked from that when I have a match. Mm -hmm. So there is another version of this game uh, for the Game Boy Color, I believe, uh, that actually keeps all of the original sprites except for the tile screen and the Pikachu sprite and the intro tech also remains smurf related uh, I, I presume that would make it a lot more confusing than this one I guess but, but it's a lot less interesting because it's literally just the same game with Pikachu changed now, this does specify, uh, the article that I'm reading, it says, This version is not to be confused with the Pikachu Nightmare, which is an entirely separate hack, possibly homebrew, with a completely different Pikachu sprite and an only slightly modified title screen. There is a hack called the Pikachu Nightmare. Again, it's the same game, it's just a different sprite of Pikachu. But that one is completely just Murphs. It's, it's, it's just, this is the only one that actually resprites everything else. Yeah, this is, like, if you're going to change a game, if you're going to bootleg a game, put in some effort, come on, you know? Yeah. I mean, even if yeah, it's like stealing sprites from somebody else. Oh, yeah, the Pikachu's not dude, as Dude, has figured out a triple jump. Very nice. nice. It's just these enemies are a little bit annoying okay, because so, they're right so in the had... way. Yeah, so I had them play on hard. The difference between but the difference between easy and hard isn't like your number of lives or anything. It's that enemies take two jumps to kill How and they the respawn. Carrot? You need your double or triple jump. You gotta you gotta Dude But the dude was triple jumping. I don't know, it's precise. Dude, dude, go back. Eat. Okay, you can also, get this. Also, it yeah, I got really does bolts. not look like the the jump is consuming the lightning bolts from what I've seen. Huh. I don't remember how that works, but yeah, it, you gotta... You definitely need a higher jump than usual to get that. Yeah, you could jump onto the platform above the carrot and fall down to get it, probably. Is that the end of stage? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, I see a carrot on the... Okay, there's a glitchy carrot sprite going on there. Yeah. Glitchy carrots. Yum. Yeah, this game has problems. Oh, those are eggs, by the way. Those pointy things that kill you. Those are like, in the original game, those are eggs. Deadly, deadly eggs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I fully recommend... Wait, I'm so confused. Uh... Okay, Almost got so, it to do, dude. So originally, uh, this was the Smurfs Free uh, released in monochrome, but then uh, this hack specifically takes some of Smurfs 3 and colorizes it, and then Smurfs Nightmare was released, uh, which was a fully colorized version of this uh, original Smurfs 3 game, and then the other hacks are based completely off of that, and I guess they didn't want to put the whatever groups did it didn't want to put all the work into like changing all the stages again so they just called it pikachu's nightmare like throw pikachu in whatever people might be confused about the text but odds are the people playing this can't read english anyway so whatever oh you're gonna get the carrot you missed the carrot to be fair i couldn't yeah. even see the carrot yeah i'm not really sure uh oh Oh, you says need, you need all, all the lightning. The okay. lightning to get the carrot. That makes sense. Got to electrocute your vegetables, everybody. Yeah, the dude has like a sliver of the lightning bar not filled. Such as how do you beat the level by getting the carrot? So yeah, you have to. We need more lightning. That pistol says it doesn't do anything about all the collectibles. Okay. So you gave out a collectathon. That's what you're saying. Mm, kind of. But oh, yeah, okay. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Winona says she doesn't think you need all the lightning. You just need the third bar of the third bar of lightning. Because yeah, at the end of the stage, if you get like 40 or whatever number it is, then you get the bonus stage. And oh, she was never go. going that. Moonberry is through. Yeah, as long as okay. you have a full bar of lightning, Moonberry takes the lead at this point. Very nice. So now we get another level that's similar to the first one, and after this we can go back and bring back the carrot. So this this game works like this in pairs, where you'll get two levels that are similar. Do, 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 after do, the first do, one you get do. the item, and after the second one you fight a boss. Well, fight your quotes. Yeah. This music is a little bit of a slog at this speed. But honestly, Smurf's Nightmare had amazing music. I have it on... Uh, I have some of the music on the Cusa Grande uh, music playlist. You'll hear it pop up every once in a while. It is high quality. A lot of Infogrames' music was fantastic, though. Uh, they, the, the musician who did their songs was just great, especially for any of the handheld games, which includes Smurfs, uh, Tintin, yeah. All of them are jams. Yeah. And I think the music gets better, too, in this game. Like, I like some of the other songs in this. Let me see, apparently the composer has a SoundCloud. Just to confirm, the music... Uh, wait, Bit Managers? That is absolutely not a person. Maybe it was the company that made uh, the music for it. But uh, what's the composer's name? I saw Chad already talked about it. Uh, Alberto Jose Gonzalez, or Joe McAlby made the music there. Fantastic there. Uh, yeah, and honestly, yeah, he did a it, bunch is, of games. it is the bootlegger's fault that the music is this slow. I Blame like them. it better slowed down. I'm I'm honestly... You like it better opinion. slow? Yeah, I do. Like, what's interesting is that uh, some of the music that he did for some of the NES Smurf games, I believe, actually have different speeds depending on if it's a European or American release and I kind of like 
like the European versions better, just because they're a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. I think this music is too slow, but whatever, I'll live. It's not my match, it's yours, you know? Yeah, it looks like the dude dude took a death and will have a lot more work to get caught back up to Moonberry. Moonberry currently on the second part of this stage. Yeah, you know what's nice? This game doesn't have uh, checkpoints. So you go back to the start of the level. Well, that's not... Wait, 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 wait. You go back to the start of the level. Uh, what about if Moonberry died? Would he go back to the start of this... Like, the entire area? Probably not. Just this... Oh, just the level. Okay. Yeah. The level within the area. But yeah, but um, you only get a password every... Well, I think you get it after these first two levels, and then I okay. think you get it after, like, three more. And then I think you get it after, like, five more. Because why not? Of course, that's just how games work. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu, you're so slow. Come on, Pikachu. Also, I'm pretty sure he has, like, a hairy armpit when he lifts his arm. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely hairy armpits, Pikachu, which is fine, okay? Just means That's fine. Yeah, hairy armpits are fine. I see both Winona and Tempestral surprised that you can duck under the pies. I didn't know that either. I guess somebody did that. <laughs> Okay, somebody is saying that Pikachu is already covered in fur. You know, animals are not uniformly covered in fur, right? Like, they're going to have patches where either fur is thin or not in existence for various reasons. And uh, Pikachu? It turns out armpits covered in dark fur. Ah. You know, I didn't know we would end up at Pikachu's armpits today, but we always do end up somewhere interesting when I'm here. Should I Google Pikachu's armpits? I gotta hold it, stand up do to my not. Iron GMA. No. no, I know that you... Oh my gosh, you can... I'm typing it in as I speak. I'm curious now. Oh yeah, there it is. Furry art. Yep. Thanks, furries. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> this version that I found. Okay, let me let me see. If, I want to share it with everybody because hey, if I saw it, you all have to see it, right? Don't worry, it's safe for work. It's gonna be fine. I swear. Oh, there's my friend Minus Pikmin. <laughs> you sure they buy some Pikachu some deodorant in the anime? Pikachu deodorant. Okay, here we go, everybody. The cutest. Pikachu armpits, you're gonna see. <laughs> Justin is not happy about this. He's I giving me the look. Mean, you're looking up Pikachu's armpits? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this, this is a weird day, okay, everybody? Justin, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Justin. It's fine. Chat's just not happy about that. But yeah, it's like, because when I was trying to pick my RNGM name, everyone expects something related to eggs from me or whatever, and it's like, you know, what, what always happens when I have a match? We're always Googling something cursed. Yeah. Yeah. We are. Here we are. These are weird. <laughs> Pictures. Yeah, these are some pictures. I only found one that was like, uh... Maybe if I take out the apostrophe yes, I'll get something else. Nope, not really. <laughs> okay, so there... <laughs> okay, this one, it just made me laugh because, like... It looks like this Pikachu has really let himself go and is working on getting fit again. And that's good. Good job, Pikachu. It just seems a little bit awkward, you know? 
Let me let me share that with y'all. Like, look at him go! He's even got the Game Boy colors going on. <laughs> look, look at that Dad Pikachu, okay? Dad Bod Pikachu, best Pikachu. I'm glad we're finding these images. Yeah. Honestly, a few a few sit-ups would help. Yeah. But anyway, honestly, this Pikachu that we're watching right here is probably going to grow up to be that Pikachu. Like, look, he's already a little pudgy. Uh, Neptune Daydream, feel free to go and avoid the cursed Pikachu moments here. I think we're mostly done with that, though. I am. Uh, there's always more cursed things we can Google. But anyway, how are players doing? They're still working their way through this level. Well. Uh, the dude you can get the carrot now, but maybe doesn't know it. Yeah, a lot of this game is sort of precise in ways that it is. <laughs> okay, Moonberry got the door. So yeah, you have there to jump up and got the password. Oh my gosh. Look, the password this is actually reskinned. I what? love that. Oh, that is perfect. Well, it's better than all of the Smurfs passwords that are just like, hey, it's these Smurfs that nobody remembers any of their names because I didn't grow up in like the 60s or whenever Smurfs were popular, you know? Right. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, Moonberry had to kill the enemy at the end there to get the door. How do you kill and... these? Oh, okay. Did you just kill just them? Jump on them? Yeah. There we go. Carrot acquired. Yeah. Turns out that is actually uh, Pikachu's favorite food. Okay, so we brought this rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh maybe flashing warning. Uh, uh this game is, this is very how glitchy. This supposed to be. Yes. I mean, yes, in terms of that's how this game is. <laughs> uh. Oh, this game is beautiful! Yeah, right, right? Moonberry so says in Discord, what? And I'm just gonna say it's working as intended. <laughs> Oh, I actually, I forgot. That was in my, um, that was in my text file. I said, there's nothing wrong with your emulator. It's fine. Oh, well, that's really nice. Yay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not, so this is a rabbit in the original game. Right now, I guess it's a Nidoran. And the Pikachu sprite is something. Look at the Smurf legs. But there was an effort put in here. I actually really like the music of this section because it's real chill when it's slowed down. Well, we should see Dude Dude get there in a little while. Remember, everybody, this is the third of four matches today. We still have one after this game. If for some reason this stage really bothers your eyes, that is fine if you look away or, you know, uh, avert yeah. your eyes. We still have another game that doesn't do this, hopefully. Yeah, and, yeah, and we'll be back like, out of this level shortly. Unless Moonberry keeps dying here, but yeah. This is also, the game. Yeah, what... What is this Pokemon that Pikachu is riding? I think it's a Nidoran. Somebody said it's a Raichu. It's not a Raichu. Look, it's got pink. Way too much pink for a Raichu. It's a Nidoran. But yeah, anyway, this is the rabbit stage. So in, in the original game, you get the ra the carrot for the rabbit, and so it gives you a ride. I should probably, like, explain what the plot of this game is supposed to be. So in, in the Smurfs... Uh, Go for it. Argamel is cursed the Smurfs, so they all are, like, asleep and having nightmares. And yeah. so you're a hefty Smurf. You're hefty Smurf. That's why you're and... so fat in this game. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you're a hefty Smurf. And so you are... Uh, the only one who's still awake, and so you have to go into every Smurf's house and go through their nightmare and, like, rescue them from their nightmare. Okay. That's what's happening. So, like, we went through the first house, which was the kitchen, which in this game was, like, I don't know, an island. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know. Now we're doing this. I don't think it makes a ton of sense in the original game either, but I'm just telling you the lore. Okay, nah, it's it's fine. I mean, it's a nightmare, you know? Anything it's a goes when you have a nightmare. 
Uh, okay. No, I don't think it's a Rhydon. I'm, I'm looking for Pokemon with horns, and I hope that that's all I get when I'm Google searching. Okay, we... we, mm. we yeah, there's no way it's a Rhyhorn. Uh, it is way too bunny-like. Look at its tail, too. Definitely bunny-esque Pokemon. Not a Ponyta. Nope. I think we're just gonna go ahead and say this species when it's extinct. Yeah, you think that there aren't Pokemon that went extinct? Well, guess again. Nature is cruel. I guess Moonbury said that their, his music is safe to switch to, too, if we wanted to experience this. Let but me yeah, go. hopefully the dude gets here before too long. I'll go ahead and switch over briefly, just so we can hear what we're missing. I really like this one, it's a jam. Oh, this is good. Then again, all of Smurf's Nightmare has great music. Yeah, I like this. However, we're not there with the dude, so I can't give it to you. Yeah, too bad. Get back to this kind of oompa oompa sound. <laughs> you know what? People are bringing up an interesting fact. Uh, that with Pokemon, you know, whenever you catch a legendary Pokemon, uh, you know, there are no more of that Pokemon in the wild. Good job. Species over. Uh, turns out that actually happened a lot, especially in the 1800s and I think early 1900s that led to uh, the extinction of multiple species. Why? Because, hey, if you were able to catch the last animal, and get it stuffed, nobody else is going to have that for a display in a museum. Bam! Yeah, you just made yourself a legend. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it was I'm really messed up. Level. It was really messed up logic uh, for that time. And thank goodness there are laws that prevent that from happening with uh, endangered species. Absolutely necessary. Otherwise, people would be doing that all the time. Yeah. Okay, so Moonberry got through the level and is trying to figure out which door it is. Should just be the next one. Yeah. You can do it, Moonberry! There we go. Yeah. So this one. Oh, go ahead. This one's like a dungeon in the original game. I actually kind of like how they recolored it. It looks kind of cool. It's blue. Blue. There's mankeys now. Aw, that's cute. But does it really count as a recolor if it's monochrome? I mean, originally it didn't have any color. Okay, so blue. they turned it blue. Well, anyway, but no, I mean, the graphics are actually different. <laughs> Okay, so this is a switch. This is a switch. Okay. Moonberry needs to push needs to push it the other way. Other way. I don't I don't know yeah. what it activates, but you need to move these. Okay. Moonberry pushed no. it a little bit. No, but put it back the other way. No, Moonberry, no. Moonberry, put it back the other way. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Ah. No, leave that. Because it it makes a little noise when you do it, right? I don't know what it unlocks, but it unlocks something. There's so, you have to do so that. many bombs in Pokemon land. Oh my gosh. That's a nightmare. Well, no, the nightmare was the other one. This is still a nightmare. Oh, okay. <laughs> and okay every house we're okay. entering is a nightmare. So yeah, those broken bits on the ground are like supposed to be broken glass in the original game. Here, they're just spiky bits. So people actually might like say the rolling... my house is a nightmare. <laughs> I really like the little rolling, I don't know, gas leaves or whatever they are, because in the original game, they're just like green bugs. They're not very interesting, but now they're cute. Yeah, they're kind of cute. I like them. 
They look a lot more like the Super Mario thingies. The, 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 what are those guys called? The, they look exactly like those, except they, they are from Mario. Whatever, I'm done. Yeah. I, I literally cannot describe them any more than they look like that and they're in Mario. Yeah, those, those things. Yeah, the things that look like that. Have I seen the buff Diglett art? I have seen every picture of Diglett known to man. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, push the books! That's right! Finally, a use for literature! Oh, oh. JK, I... I did have a dream, though, that I was back in another lit class and that, like, I just didn't have time to read the books and I missed, a, like, submitting a paper that I had to submit and then, like, it was uh, a day that they were doing a test when I went to class and I just said, said to the teacher, you know, I just, I can't. I have to drop the class. And uh, she was like, no, you still... You can still get back into it. I'm like, no, literally, I missed the first paper and the first test. I can't. And so, yeah, I just had to disappoint her, and I was so sad. A disappointing professors, welcome to my nightmares. And, like, she wasn't angry. She was just really sad. She wanted me to be in her class. But, ah... Interesting, you can jump on the spiky dudes. Yeah. I mean, it is a bootleg. Simply put, bootlegs uh, don't make you follow all of the rules in the world. Nothing yeah, there's sucks. also... Yeah. There's also inconsistencies. Like, sometimes when you you can jump on an enemy, and sometimes you jump through the enemy and get hurt. It, it uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Mankey is... Okay, here's the deal. I really like his sprite. It seems like it's a bit off for some reason, and I'm not sure, but I really like it. Yeah, like, they're, they're pretty well done. Like, the graphics in here, like, do look like Pokemon. Like, yeah. I will give them that. Sure and they didn't take... They didn't rip them from, like, Pokemon Red or Blue. Like, they did make these. Yeah. Like, Pikachu is definitely, a, a, like, chubbier than... Then again, original no, but, Pikachu no, that's was what they look like. A, absolutely That's what Pikachu monster. looks like, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, this like I is... Have a big, I have an old stuffed animal behind me from back in the day, and yeah, they look like that. They only yeah. look skinny now. Which, I don't know. I don't know, like... I've known some really chubby cats, and... You know, it, it's good to try to get them to exercise so that, you know, they, they lose a little bit of weight and get healthier. But maybe this is just the normal po Pikachu shape. Yeah, I mean, that's what they all looked like back in the Yeah, and then the later second. Pikachus are just really malnourished. Yeah, okay, Moonberry got the <laughs> rope at the end of the level there. The dude brought the carrot to the rabbit. Good job. Okay, good, good. We got some good music. Yeah. Get ready for the jam. Hot jams. Yeah, I genuinely like the music in this level. And it's better slowed down. Like, it's real It's real chill. Like, the original version's, like, hectic. And I'm like, yeah, I want chill jams. Honestly, I think I would agree with you. This is not what you would nor- Th This is like what you would expect for a cutscene during an adventure game. Yeah. Yeah. And I like it. Oh yeah, it. flashing I'm a warning again. Fan. In case anyone needs to look away. Like, it's- I don't think this is the type of flashing that will get to a whole lot of people. Usually it has to be uh, much more intense, but it still is something that, you know, you stare too long, you might get a headache. Yeah, this isn't bright flashing, it's just the sprites flashing. Yeah, like, what tends to bother me more is, like, bright color flashing. Yep. But uh, it is here, though, if anyone needs to look away. Yeah, in general, like, anything close to a strobe 
is, is going to be the, like, the really intense stuff that, you know, definitely needs warnings. This is more annoying slash, you know, maybe you'll get a headache looking at it too much, but, you know, you probably are not going to have life-threatening conditions from it. But then again, consult your doctor and don't listen to me because I ain't no doctor. Yeah, this is actually slower than it would be if, if you're actually emulating it yourself, because it mostly you just don't see the background at all when you're emula emulating itself. Uh -huh. It's it's different, but yeah, it's something. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a glitch that comes specifically for the bootleg. This was not happening in the original Smurfs Nightmare. Why is there a glitch now? I don't know. Turns out that when you run games at half speed, sometimes there are problems. The dude dude is saying that this game is haunted. You know what? That's it. They added ghosts. The bootleggers added a ghost. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah, so yeah, like people are saying we should have spooky games for spooky week. This is a spooky game, maybe haunted. I'd say so. The Nightmare. Nightmare on Pikachu Street? I don't know. Nightmare on yeah, Pikachu like, I, Street? I, I, oh no. But you yeah, like, I, I'm... Yes. Oh. But yeah, like, I genuinely think it's fun to see this here, because there just is no footage of this game on YouTube past six minutes. So, yeah, if the Dude Dude or Moonberry actually want to play it further than they get here, like, it will be the only footage of the later levels, because I didn't even play that far. That what do they look like? I, I know what they look like in the original game, because I watched the long play, but I don't know what the whole game looks like in this version. Same. No clue. And, of course, this is a bootleg with problems, but I, I am kind of impressed that they actually changed all these sprites and made it look like something completely different and put some kind of effort into this. Yeah, even, like, I don't know if they actually made the sprites that we're seeing here, but it still, you know, is more certainly work made than some. some bootleggers have done. Yeah, but they certainly made at least the Pokémon ones, because they aren't ripped from the games. I still hate the Pikachu in the <laughs> bubble. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute, but yeah, it's, that's valid. No, he looks like... he looks sad. And more like a rabbit. Like the ears. That's what bothers me. The the Pikachu ears. I mean, he has a rodent. Oh, this music is absolutely perfect the way it is. I know, isn't it chill? <sighs> yeah. Honestly, for some reason, like, this would fit perfect in... An area for Owlboy. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Mm. Oh my gosh, that would Game be like that. yeah, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely perfect. Yeah, honestly, I, I can tell there there's somebody is saying that they like this music a lot more than the previous one. I would agree, and here's why. Yeah. The previous one had too much oompa. Uh which honestly is a lot closer to circus music, which generally rubs me the wrong way. I do not like oompa. Oompa oompa. Yeah, I think I like most of the music in this game better than the first level. Yeah, but yeah, the rabbit music is good. Yeah, as soon as it gets close at all to circus music, people by default hate it more because nobody likes circus music. Literally the worst music in existence. Now we've got a water level because, of course, you need one of those in your 90s platformer. This one, it's similar to the other levels, but you have uh, bubbles, air bubbles you need to... Okay, so those those enemies actually look like coughing, but those are actually exactly the same as they are in the Smurfs game. They didn't resprite anything here. 
I didn't see them coughing. There's no, like, the, the, <laughs> the, the black cloud thing. <laughs> oh! I'm here all day, oh, yeah, everybody. This fish. That fish is very <laughs> weird looking. Easter. I don't like that fish. Yeah, it's like a catfish or something, or a blowfish. I don't know what's here. Sure, we'll call it that. No, the one on the right. Okay, never mind. We don't get to see any more long fish. Terms of service fish? Yeah, I might call it that as well. Little terms of service fish. Yeah, I switched to Moonberry's music. It's okay. Yeah, this music is kind of... Like, I will go back to this, but let's hear Moonberry's underwater music. Oh yeah, I have the original song for this on my playlist. Oh my gosh, this is extra smooth. Yeah, right? The original is so good, but somehow this is even better. No, maybe not even better. Mm, I don't. I like them both. Dun, yeah, like, yeah, like dun, I'm, I'm not dun, like disliking dun, dun, the original. Dun. I just really like the smooth jams in this game. You know what? It's Whatever. not we'll... intentional, but it's how it is. We're gonna listen to this for a little while because of how smooth this is. This is perfect. This is from what? This is from Smurfs Nightmare. This music, and I also have it on the Cusa Grande playlist because it is that. Freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Seriously, yes. if this were a smoothie, I would drink it every day. <laughs> mm. That's probably a really weird way to put it, but I'm sticking with it, okay? I'm sticking to my illusion there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah. I also kind of like this level. It's not, like, the worst level in the game as far as difficulty. True. Oh, I love this. I'm sorry, as, as soon as we switched the music over, like, I can't go back. I'm stuck, I'm, I'm addicted. Fine. Yeah, both players said their music was fine, so. Yeah. I don't want to hear stupid haunted house music. Why is there haunted <laughs> house music in a level that is only vaguely a haunted house. Like, there are a few okay, chains, it... there's like a spider web or two, but that's it. That's the only creepy stuff. Okay, it's a dungeon in the original game. <laughs> okay. Like, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Honestly, who doesn't have chains, l l like, hanging off of random walls in their house, you know? That's what you're into. <laughs> All the chains. <laughs> oh yeah, so I, I haven't actually mentioned, there's different potions. Some give you invincibility, some give you health. There's a different shaped one that freezes enemies. Okay. I don't remember if there are other ones, but there are a few different ones. So I am actually working a little bit on getting the next match set up as well. So if for some reason I'm not talking as much, that is probably why I've got work Fine. to do. It was my job. It's my job. That's why they pay me the Kuso bucks. Not very many of them. Do they well, no. I mean a few. <laughs> Kuso bucks are not worth as much as real bucks. Yeah, where can you redeem those? I don't know. Uh, like, 
Not even Walmart will take them. Kuso coin, we are absolutely not... Not making a Kuso coin. Okay, I guess we... Let, let me see what the next song sounds like, and then if it's not as good as what we just listened to, we'll go back to spooky haunted house music. At the Kuso Bank. Oh, obviously. Obviously, the Kuso Bank. Yeah. No, uh, no, I get paid real money. But not very much of it, just a little bit. And this month's subs and bits are going to the Southern Poverty Law Center, not even to me. I'm not even getting Kuso bucks. What? I'm getting a few. Oh, this is a, this is a good level. Okay. So you know how, like, this game, uh, in some ways, is like, you know, I like the graphics? So in the original game, this is racist! We got racist, like, red smurfs in a hut, like, savage ones or something. And it's like, here we have Oddish! That's fine, let's just go with that. Actually, yeah, I forgot. We don't the need racism The original smurfs here. kind of is racist. Like, uh, because they do have evil smurfs that are... that are black. Mm hmm Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, in that, like, old European comic way. But we've got Oddish here, and they're, they're kind of cute. Okay, somehow this bootleg is a vast improvement in many ways over the original Smurfs Nightmare. Yeah. Okay, I'm digging this. That's right. I am emotionally supporting this bootleg... Actually, in many ways, I am supporting this bootleg. I, I love bootlegs anyway. Uh, you know, questionable if a bootleg should have actually been used, like, been sold places. But at the same time, uh, due to copyright laws, they were allowed to in those locations at that time. So I, I'd say if it is legal in their own area where they make the games, then it is fair game for them to do that. I I prefer having looser restrictions though when it comes to uh, when it comes to making fan games or uh, other games out there. I think that it's fine to be like, hey, you make a game based off of my property, don't sell it, you know, or let's work out a deal so that you're able to sell it or something. But I also really feel like fan games should be a thing. Just bootleg difference between bootlegs and fan games in my opinion are that bootlegs uh, generally are created to make money and fan games are often uh, not made to do that. Generally not made specifically uh, to sell to people. Yeah. yeah, like this was on all those like thousand and one carts and Pokemon something in one carts and stuff. So like I don't support that, but I, I do like what it is. Also, Code Man saying, "Can we switch back to Moonbrae's music?" Yeah, that's pretty good if you're oh, interested this, in that. The original for this is a bop as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's see how it is in this version. I need I need you to get to the percussion so I can judge. I also see Moonbrae trying to jump up this hole, whatever it is. The impossible. So, it doesn't go up, it goes down. Like, it doesn't push you up like the other one does. It pushes you down. Thank so, like, you. you can still get up there, but it's tr it's harder. It's It doesn't bring you up like the ones in the earlier level. Also, thank you, Billy, for those bits. Those will be going towards the charity this month. Thank you very much. Southern Poverty Law Center, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, so in the original game... To the, to the bop. Yeah, so in the original game, this one's like the moon level or something, with, I don't know, racism. Yep, it is. Yeah. But the music's kinda chill. Why does the racist stage have to have the best music? <laughs> yeah, I know. Problem with these older games. It's not even an older game, it's from like the 90s. But anyway, we get this instead. Oh, I like this. Now that the percussion is here. Yeah. 
This definitely doesn't make yeah, sense for island music, but I am fine with that. I would rather have this than the alternative. Faizu is getting on my case for saying this is going to be a good level. It is a good level, Faizu. You just jealous I gave you Blast Chamber instead of this? I still love that there are the... the, the... <laughs> what Moonberry was jumping into, the... the, 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 the... those things. Yeah. Yeah, they're on the moon. <laughs> you know, the moon Graders? holes. The... Yeah, that! Craters, <laughs> the moon the holes. Moon holes. Oh yeah, look, 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 you get to see the game freak out when there's too many sprites on the screen. I love it. It gets real good. And by too many, there's like three, but that's too many. Well, for this game, yeah. My gosh, jumping up those ropes, basically impossible for Pikachu. Oh, that is absolutely supposed to be a rocket that you're jumping on. Yes. I yeah, love they didn't re-sprite that, that's what it is. Wait, that's actually the original sprite? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know why, but okay, it is. Okay, I thought that they changed the rocket into whatever the crap that was, but yeah, it's a, Anything it's that's, like, brown is the original sprite, because they didn't change that color. Beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, I practical. haven't seen a new... By the way, I haven't seen anyone get a bonus game, and neither did I or Winona, and I don't know if Tempestral did, so I'm not sure if they even have the bonus games in this version. But they're supposed to be, if you get, like, 40 lightning bolts or something at the end of the level, they're supposed to be, a, you know, one of those normal basic levels where you punch the boxes and then you get some points or something. So wait. So I don't know if that's even These little this. flames were on the original then? Yep. How are flames going to be on the moon? I don't know. I mean, it is a they're, nightmare. They're magical, okay. magical flames, yeah. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh yeah, Niskorian asked, Moonberry's winning, right? Yeah, and Moonberry's in the lead. Yeah, uh, Moonberry has been in the lead pretty much the entire match. Uh, and I, I think that it's because of that carrot. The carrot that the dude was, kept trying to get, but didn't have enough lightning bolts to get the carrot. Why? Because bootleg logic. Uh, and honestly, you know, because the dude got a game over or died, after working a lot on the first level, that put him at a severe disadvantage. Yeah. Pikachu looks so tired after doing the rocket there. Oh, but there we go, hammer! Hammer acquired! Thanks. Now you can fix the bridge. Yeah, this is farther than Winona got in a couple hours, she says. Uh-huh. <laughs> Break rock get hammer, says chat. Yeah, the logic is a little bit backwards there, but well, it's video game, you know? And boo like video about, game at that. Yeah. I think this is about halfway through the long play, by the way. Uh oh, it's meteors now. You know, actually, you could interpret these as rocks from a volcano. Could be, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and let this one pass. The the little flames actually make much more sense being on an island. And you know what? You could call the 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 the, the moon holes volcanoes. <laughs> the moon holes. Yeah, maybe. It could pass as volcanoes, yeah. Good. Okay, Moonberry got that one potion that is... Uh, I forgot, the one that freezes enemies or invisibility or something? I think so, one yeah. Moonholes. <laughs> Moonberry, though, does not have enough lightning to jump up there. So yeah. he's going to have to backtrack a little bit. Still not a huge deal, considering that Moonberry has a very strong lead. There is... Uh, it, it's not going to change. It's just not yeah, going to. Yeah, there's two minutes left. The dude, dude can't, can't get close to catching up here. 
But I am impressed with how, bo how far both of them got. Like, they did. They both got pretty far. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This platforming where you can't even see the next platform that you're supposed to jump on. Beautiful. Yeah, I like how some of these are problems with the bootleg, and a lot of them are still problems from the original game. Yeah. Thanks, infogrames. Infogrames. Here's the deal. Infogrames handheld games were definitely better than a lot of their other games, but yeah, that is still a pretty significant problem. Uh, gonna, gonna do, do, do the password for us? Well, let me go ahead. Let's jump to the crappy haunted house music again. I don't like it because it makes me think of... <sighs> Pink Jelly. The way that some of the notes sound. And yeah, that's just because I really, really hate that specific bootleg. Uh, but, you know. Uh, well, you know what? Both of them game over. I'm calling it. That's time. We're done. Yeah, we're close to the hour anyway. We're done, everybody. That is it. Throw your hands up in the air and celebrate. So I'm going to go ahead and invite them to chat if they want. So come on over. I would love to talk to you and see how things are going. Stop in the timer 24 seconds too early. No, I stopped it right when it needed to stop. Everybody, this has been a fantastic match. I've had a lot of fun. And hello there, do -do dude. Hello. Let me... You're really quiet. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I was really far away from my mic. Isn't that now? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> and here we have Moonberry as well. Hello, both of you, and congratulations on this match. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let you know it looks like Moonberry takes the victory today. I, uh, I was expecting as much, honestly. <laughs> You got a little um, bit stuck at the beginning there, yeah. Yeah, I spent like half an hour on the first level, which is never a good sign. I got really lucky on, uh, a, I guess, I don't know if it was B or A press on one of the doors and got the little notification. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I gotta go try uh, the doors. Yeah, that, that, that took me a bit to figure out. And then in the first actual platforming yeah, stage where you can actually take damage and such, it took me ages to figure out that you were supposed to jump on the three little things at the end in a specific order. Yeah, you still Just managed. You managed to get into the first level a good few minutes before Moonberry did. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty entertaining watching you walk back and forth, Moonberry. I love it. <laughs> and we're like, hopefully, hopefully Moonberry will figure this out soon. But yeah, the... Uh, then the first level and that stupid carrot that you were trying to mm, get I tried there in to so do many it. different ways to get it. Yeah. The solution was just so, uh, simple. Yeah, I thought <laughs> I you had really to get after it. That one. To what? I thought you had to have a full bounce to get it. I was thinking that as well. You had to have what instead? Uh, there were like three enemies at the end, uh, and you had to yeah, hit them in like those. a specific order, like I think right, left, middle, if I remember right. But oh, okay, yeah, that oh, that's a little bit frustrating. But bootlegs aren't exactly known for being kind when it comes to like giving oh. any information at all. Right, uh, but that's not even a problem from the bootleg. That's infogrames' this problem. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, yeah. love that, like, something. I love that some of the worst problems were just in the original game to begin with. Yeah, I imagine the biggest bootleg thing we saw was, well, well aside from the fact that it's suddenly a Pokemon game, was uh, whatever was going on with everything in the Elder Scrollings level. <laughs> so, uh, what have, what were the lightning bolts for in the swimming and auto-scrolling level? Did they do anything? Uh, they give you so. extra... Uh, oh, in the auto-scrolling, I have no idea. I don't think so, no. No, I don't think so. No, in, well, in the swimming. Well, okay. Yeah. So actually, the game is supposed to have a bonus level after levels if you get like 40. Well, in the original game, it's Sasperilla leaves, but like lightning bolts. But I don't think the hack has the bonus levels, so they probably do nothing in those auto scrolling levels. Yeah. Also, honestly, not certain if it was even possible to max out the bar in them, considering there was problems with them spawning after you passed the bit where you could actually get them. Yeah. 
I was too afraid not to grab them and then just hit a wall where I couldn't jump up, which is what happened in the level I was I was stuck. I stopped on. I hit a wall and I had to go all the way back to the beginning to pick up some off the top of that bar. Oh yeah. Work. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this obviously was a bootleg. Uh, but most of the issues that you had with it were in the original. In, in addition, the original is actually twice the speed of what you were playing. So, you know, th this was considerably slowed down. Do you think the slowdown may have helped or may have hurt? What do you think? I, I think I'd rather have played it without the slowdown, honestly, because everything was agonizingly slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I think that I would agree with that personally. Except I liked some of the tunes being slowed down. That was kind of yeah, a jam. We got, some, we got some good slow jams. Yeah, the music was pretty good in my opinion. I, I liked it. Yeah. For a bootleg game. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it was just taken from the original Smurfs Nightmare. Uh, which, honestly, Infogrames always had good music on their he handheld games. That is just how it is. Yeah. Anyways, seriously, great job to both of you. Although, Moonberry, you definitely took the victory today. You know, you'll be moving on in the winner's bracket. Dude, dude, you're not out, though. You are still definitely in. Heading to the loser's bracket where you will fight through thick and thin. I think. I don't know. Fight something. You punch things. Yeah. It's the Cusa Grande experience. Seriously, though, this was a lot of fun to watch. Thank you both. I think... Yeah, and you both did well. Thanks you for having got... us Yeah, thank yeah, I remember you. I got, like, 30, 40 minutes into the long, long play, so yeah, you guys both did pretty good. Oh, That's... yeah, you did great. Considering the long play would actually know what it was doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it, it did, for sure. Well, I think we got to move on to the next game. So thank you both, and thank you as well, Hedge Maze. All of you take care and have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. All right, take care. All right, Bye. see ya. Bye. Well, everybody, we're on to the final game of the weekend. Remember, though, we generally do have games most Saturdays and Sundays. For Halloween, we might not, but... I do figure that we will have some scary games at some point between today and the end of Halloween. We'll see. Well, up next, our final game of the day. Who will be chosen? Will they be chosen by love or by hate? We will see you after this one minute ad. Be back in just a little bit. Actually, you know what? It's just doing the multiplayer ad, so you should all be able to hear me still. Uh, yeah, go ahead and look at that. All subs and bits in October will be going to the Southern Poverty Law Center, so if you do click on one of those options there, you're just helping with charity a little bit. I will not be taking whatever is sent to me. I'll just be passing that forward. 